Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, Minecraft mods that have to do with TNT. I'm highlighting some really great mods here. All of them are going to be linked in the description. They're pretty self-explanatory and I'll tell you where a new mod begins. I'm also going to be looking at a TNT mod that completely breaks your Minecraft world. It's not something I recommend you download and play on your favorite world, but I do think it's an awesome mod and I'm going to be linking it. Just don't break your Minecraft games. I'm not responsible for your, your games because once you light this TNT block, it's can't get it back. The Minecraft world is done. I don't know how but it, it does not load back up. <laughs> Before you, I present the TNT sword. As you can see, it says TNT on it, and it is a sword. If you put these items into a crafting table, you are presented with one TNT sword. Pretty impressive. Now, the attacks range from uh, blocks are in the way. What do you mean blocks are in the way? Blocks are in the way. Whoa. Oh, you just place it down. A sword, it literally just places TNT and sets it on fire. Oh, that took a while. That's all it does? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. Oh, it does take durability, which is quite interesting. The TNT sword didn't work exactly how I thought it was going to. Let's test it out on a zombie. Oh, no. Zombie, look out. There's TNT with my TNT sword. I'm idiot. He had no idea that it was coming. Quite obvious that there was a TNT block next to him instead. Die. A pretty interesting mod. It's uh, pretty underwhelming though. I wanna see some big explosions. I wanna see something crazy. We're gonna take a look at some new TNT block. TNT sword was a short mod. It's called Acro's Tactical Explosives. He's tactical, he has a bunch of them, and we're gonna look through them. But before we get into the big boy stuff, I need to show you something that is going to be completely overlooked throughout this entire video. And that is the vacuum cleaner. A beautiful vacuum cleaner at that. It doesn't look exactly how I thought it would in my hand, looking at it now. Kind of seems stupid, but it's very important. All I have to do is look in a direction and all of the items will get sucked straight up into the vacuum cleaner. Very helpful for any explosive debris. It'll cut down on the lag on your world if the TNT blocks that you spawn are too big and too destructive. Thank God we have the vacuum cleaner. Next on the list is a normal iron explosive barrel, which I don't, I don't really know. Okay, well, I'm in a tree now. I was about to say, I don't know why it's in the game, but that was pretty big explosive. That's definitely bigger than a normal TNT block. And uh, would you look at that? A bunch of items, no more. Got a vacuum cleaner. Shout out vacuum cleaner. They also have cobblestone TNT, which I'm kind of confused about as well. I think this just adds more crafting recipes. Wherever you are in your Minecraft game, you can always craft TNT. You don't need gunpowder. They also have many other types of explosives. It goes cobble, iron, gold, diamond, and then endstone. Radiating explosive, which I'm very excited to use. Let's try the iron with the flint and steel. Let's see. I want to get a good angle on this. Doesn't seem to be doing much. All right, here we go. I'm just going for it. Didn't do it. Going for it. Didn't do it. Going for it again. What is this? Madness. Not... <laughs> Why did the other ones work so well? What do you need? A redstone current? What's this? Oh, yeah. There you go. That's gonna cook well. Okay, so there's also a new item in the game, which apparently you don't need to use for the other uh, block that I've used in the past. But it's called detonation powder, and you light one end of it, and uh, sorry, sheep. Ooh! They even blow up. So that was iron. Not that bad, but also not that great. It left a bit of a mess, but we can suck that up real quick. Let's try the gold. I hope that it gets more impressive with time or with upgraded TNT blocks. Let's try. Okay, the gold one was a bit bigger. That's crazy. As you can see right here, this is the iron. This was the gold. Diamond. I have high hopes for the diamond. I really do. Let's see what we can make of it. There we go, baby. We gotta go far. Far. All right, here we go. Let's see. Diamond explosive in three, two. Woo! That was a big giant. Give me that. Oh my goodness. The crater. Twice as big as the gold. That's nuts. We still have more. All right, let's try the end stone. Oh, I wonder if that'll work. That's interesting. Huh. This explosive powder is a weird block. <laughs> right, let's try it. End stone. Here we go. Didn't work. What is going on? We're doing this again. This is an awful start. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Oh, there it is. Finally. God dang, that took forever. End stone was not that impressive. Wasn't good enough for me. Hmm. Looks like it didn't work at all. Whoa, this is where it was. 
I think it might be broken. <laughs> just radiates? I, I got wither IV. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not. I feel like it's supposed to go boom. It definitely I get stuck in it. This is not the TNT block that's supposed to break the game. That one works for sure but we're not done with this mod yet we still have a gravitational explosion uh which definitely sounds amazing all right detonating the gravity boy whoa i was closer to god also there's other versions of the explosive barrels that i was playing with earlier and that is the gold and the diamond explosive barrel we'll try it whoa dude the explosive barrels are lit they actually throw your character so far that's awesome all right Let's try the uh, the diamond. I'm gonna be an Elon Musk rocket ship. I wanna shoot to the moon. Ready? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, yes, dude. That's so awesome. Going in for another one. <laughs> That's so much fun. This is very, very destructive. Looks like a job for the vacuum cleaner. Very good vacuum cleaner. Honestly, the most helpful object in any mod I've ever seen. We also have an oddball TNT block. Part of this mod. I don't quite understand it. It's a British, very British explosive. And I have, I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I'm not even going to pretend to know. I'm just going to react accordingly. Here we go. A very British explosive. Oh, so it's, it rains. <laughs> Does it really just turn it to rain? I feel you, Britain. I feel you. It rains a lot here in Mass, too. Like, all the time. Especially when it's cold. Now for the even more explosives mod. We're almost to the game-breaking TNT block. But we got to take a look at these first. So this has a lot of different types of dynamites, not necessarily TNT, but they are explosives. So it fits into this category. I'm going to do a lightning round as fast as I can. I'm going to get through these explosives. Normal dynamite. We throw it. It looks like it's going to blow up. Boom. It blew up. We have dynamite times 100. Oh boy. That, that's a big jump. It went from one to hundred real quick, man. And wow, that's a pretty interesting explosive pattern. Vacuum all that stuff up. Boom. What about dynamite times 1,000? Dear God, what have I done? Whoa! That was a thousand times the power of that first dynamite that I threw. God, this is just a griefing tools. Spring dynamite. Oh, look, it's bouncing. Look at it bounce. That's interesting. Whoa! Okay. Oh, you can skip it. Oh, it doesn't go very far, but that's still cool. Look at it go. Yo! That's so awesome. We also have water dynamite. Oh, that's cool trail that it leaves. Oh, and there you go. You want to start a farm it's called Cloud Dynamite. What happened? It spawned a bunch of clouds. They're like cats. I think you have to rethink that dynamite. I don't know about that. Gravity Dynamite. Watch out, clouds. Oh, oh God. Thank God. The cats always land on their feet. And chickens, they cannot die. Crisis averted. Speaking of chickens, we have Chicken Dynamite. And I am going to spam the crap out of this. Oh, my God. What have I done? <laughs> Holy crap. This is amazing. That's crazy. Oh, this is like what humans do to get food. They just pack them in a small area. Sad, but it happens. <laughs> Teleporting TNT. Oh, it's teleporting around. Where's it gonna go? Ooh, that cluster of chickens was very unlucky. What about the trolling dynamite? Anything? I don't know what was so trolling about that. What about this one? Sticky. A very sticky dynamite. I'm just gonna chuck it around. Sticky dynamite works well. Gold dynamite. Where did it go? Does it turn off when I throw it in water? No. Oh, wait. Yeah, it does. Oh, that's cool. Where's the gold dynamite at, baby? Does this even do anything? I think that's actually the troll dynamite. Oh, my God. Sand dynamite's crazy. I can make a beach party. Check this out. Yeah. Check out all that sand I just made. That's so cool. We also have endstone, dirt. Oh, God. I didn't know it brought Enderman in. Pretty cool. You guys want some dirt? You guys like dirt, right? <laughs> That's so funny. We have ice dynamite. Pretty self-explanatory. Scatter dynamite. Mushroom dynamite. Oh, God. What is this? Oh, it, it said mushroom. I thought it said mushroom. Well, that makes sense. Why it does that then? Festive dynamite. Ah, oh, that one's sick. That was reverse warp. Oh, oh it's a party now. Challenge game dynamite what does that mean doesn't mean anything okay ghostly dynamite it floats that is pretty spooky does it blow up afterwards nope doesn't do anything oh wait it does much much later normal warp dynamite literally teleports them away oh teleport me away <laughs> so we have shearing dynamite which i imagine shears sheep that's what it sounds like let's try it on these sheep right here Oh, y'all just got sheared, baby. Time dynamite, which um, 
changes the time of day to complete a complete six hours later. That's what it looks like. Nope, it just it just flips the time of day. Very interesting. Vaporizing dynamite. <laughs> Didn't do anything. Leaf dynamite spawns leaves. Genius. Clay dynamite. Sponge. Glass. Blue? What is blue? Oh, oh, Mr. Blue. That makes sense. We have a bunch of blue boys. Why are they floating? Is that part of it? Is that part of the thing? <laughs> we gotta get rid of these. Levitation. There you go. We'll send the rest of them up. Oh. Oh! Whoa! Dynamite times 500. Why are you so far down the list? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What have I done? What did I do? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for... The Dimension Blower. This mod is actually called the Dimension Exploiter. So if you guys want to download it, download it and open a completely new version of Minecraft because it will delete the game. Well, not the game entirely. The game that you're in, the world specifically that you're in, it will completely destroy it. And this one's already pretty destroyed. So I don't really want this anymore. You place it on the ground. And I'm pretty sure you just get flint and steel and, and don't do what it, I just did. You take your flint and steel and you right click it. And then it blows. Whoa, whoa. Why did it spawn two more? Oh, and there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, there was an error while ticking a block. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back in now and I'm going to try and reopen this world. This is the only world I have on this version. The crazy, crazy man who made this. You have too much time on your hands. I'm going to single player, new world. It was made today and I'll load in and... Oh my god. And there there you have it. There's the dimen di 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 There's the dimension exploiter. I think it's called that because it exploits something in Minecraft. It probably deletes a file or something. I don't even know. It just completely wreaks havoc on anyone's Minecraft world that it touches. That's all the mods I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to download any of these mods, links are in the description. Subscribe if you haven't already liked the video. If you liked it, if you want to support me further, merch link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later!